you know, Nina's project from your perspective? Okay. Uh, we, we funded four years of research for the Adirondack Cooperative Loan Program. And that program has uh, a number of different projects that they're doing to track uh, the abundance and the health of loons in the Adirondacks and in the Northeast. Uh, our project that we're funding is really focusing on their mercury pollution or the effects of mercury on loons because that really fits in well with our mission of looking at pollution associated with the generation of an electricity. And uh, they're finding some very interesting results about the impact of mercury on loons. They're looking at uh, loon levels in blood and loon levels in feathers and they're looking at both because by looking at both they can not only determine what mercury exposure loons are getting at Adirondack Lakes but also the exposure that they're bringing with them from their wintering grounds when they're out uh, along the shorelines on the ocean. And some of these studies uh, have shown that uh, that loons that, are, that have high levels of mercury make pretty bad parents. They don't spend as much time with their chicks. They don't teach them uh, the things that they need to know to survive. They spend less time teaching them how to fly. They spend less time uh, letting the chicks ride on their backs, which makes them more vulnerable to predation. But those are some of the things that we've found out only over a very short time period. And I'm sure there are other things that we would find if we just keep looking. And that's why it's important to make this commitment to long-term monitoring and to studies that are looking at the impacts on species. Because if we only looked at humans and the impact on us, we may be missing some very important parts of our ecosystem that could not only impact us, but impact things that we place high value on uh, as part of uh, what we value in life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.